uses his work in continuing these students to actually, I guess, uh, push him into the candidacy in 1968. So we have a collection of state voter records mandatory and authorizing the Justice Department to investigate and access the voting data and history of all states, right? And so this is, I guess, the framework behind the eventual uh, Voting Rights Act of 1965, right? Uh, 1964 uh, makes discrimination on the basis of race, uh, national origin, uh, gender, religion, and voting, uh, public areas, uh, workplace, and schools and people. We also saw in 1964 the passing of uh, the 24th Amendment, which banned the poll tax, which often required black people and some poor white people to pay to vote. So in 1965, we saw 250,000 new black voters registered, and one third of them had been uh, examined to make sure that their registration was valid. Are we moving forward or are we moving back? So in 2011, we saw a wave of uh, uh, voter suppression laws, especially across the South, um, that often, I guess, increase the criteria of the ID required um, for people to, to vote. So in Texas, which I think is probably the most blatant one, Texas and maybe North Carolina, um, you've heard stories about how Someone could actually go to vote if they had registration uh, for a gun license, but they had a regular vote for, say, a college, uh, university ID that wasn't acceptable. And so, under the ERA, states uh, that were known to be bad actors, I guess, before the passing of that act, were required to, to basically, if they had any changes on the congressional district level, they require to go and get their whatever the changes checked before they become valid. And so uh, the Supreme Court, the court blocks the Texas, or, or I guess not the Supreme Court, but the state court blocked the, the Texas Voter ID Act, citing racial impact, and which meant that the, the changes that they suggested would impact uh, black and Hispanic voters in a way that would disenfranchise them. Make it hard for them. And so, uh, just this past year, in 2016, uh, when we had our primary elections last month, we saw over 100,000 people have issues when they went to vote. So we had people go vote, and then their, their names are not on the rolls, and so they have to file a provisional ballot. And so the bond is a quote from uh, Mary Blasio. It's been reported to us from voters and voting rights monitors that the bond list in Brooklyn numerous errors, including the purging of entire buildings and blocks of voters from the voting list. The perception that numerous voters have, may have been disenfranchised undermines the integrity of the entire electoral process and must be fixed. So why is black voters? Right? So uh, if you see the chart on the left, you see that steady increase in voter turnout. Uh, obviously, 2008 was its peak with the election of uh, President Barack Obama. Uh, we also, I actually have a quote from Congressman Jim Clyburn. So if you read it, it says, We keep talking as if it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that Obama gets 92% of the black vote. Because since he only got 35% of the white vote, he's in trouble. Well, Hillary Clinton only got 8% of the white the black vote. It's almost saying black people don't matter. The only thing that matters is how white people respond. And that's what bothered I think I matter. Okay. And so, um, right now, uh, Obama has another eight months in his uh, presidency. And so, we really have to ask, you know, seeing uh, black people come out in 2012, seeing them come out in 2008, will this be the continuation of really engaging black people to really show up involved and push politicians on issues that are important to them? Or is this going to be really the fall that we will see until maybe the next great black you know, candidate comes up? So what, what issues are important to you? So that mass incarceration, that access to the jobs, that uh, 
family and senior services, uh, home policing, home ownership, uh, affordable uh, and equitable education, and voting rights, uh, health care. What is it that's going to be the motivation that gets you out to? And really trying to find those issues and really do the work to uh, push policy and just push people to the table. Thank you. Thank you, Mr.